What's up guys, Mark here, and today it's another edition of the Tasting Lab, and we are talking about brown sauce. So this is the next in the series that I've been doing of UK food tastings. Now one of those taste tests involved uh, pitting uh, B&M Boston Baked Beans, uh, the American product, against Heinz Beans, uh, which although it's an American company and an American bean, uh, is really a British product. That uh, was interesting in that it's an American company and an American bean that somehow kind of became imported and more popular in Britain than it really anywhere else in the world, or at least uh, certainly than in America, where uh, the molasses uh, heavy um, Boston style baked bean prevailed. What we have here instead is sort of the reverse of that. Uh, brown sauce uh, sort of originated in the UK. You'll notice, uh, those of you with a keen eye, uh, these square bottles, uh, that's not really an accident. Uh, what started as brown sauce in the UK is sort of a multi-use condiment for meats and, and really anything. It was never really sold in the United States. States. The whole concept of steak sauce was really sort of invented as a marketing ploy so that the people that were selling this stuff in the UK could sell more of it over here and make more money. That's really, really all that it was about. No one was clamoring for steak sauce when A1 came around. In fact, even today, it's not even called A1 steak sauce anymore. It's just A1 sauce. Really, all of these sauces are very, very similar. They're sort of a vinegar, a sweet uh, vinegar-based sauce uh, made for meat, for steaks, for burgers, uh, multi-purpose condiment. They're all sweetened with something like apple or plum or raisin. I expect them to really have all very similar flavors. Uh, the textures are probably going to be a little bit different. So uh, the HP is the one that is popular uh, more in the UK. The Chef's is an Irish brand, uh, a little bit different than it's in a squeeze bottle. And of course, we're going to have to taste this against uh, the classic American A1 that we all know and love here in the States. All right, well, let's get tasting. So uh, we have a sample of each of the sauces and some generic uh, potato tasting material in the form of waffle fries and tater tots. Uh, so um, I'll start with what we know, I guess, and go um, with the A1. Tomato puree, vinegar, corn syrup, salt, raisin paste, crushed orange puree, spices, celery, dried garlic, onion. All things that I kind of expected. So the one that I think is going to be most directly comparable is the HP. Right off the bat, I did notice the consistency is a little bit different. It's a little bit thicker. You see it kind of behaves a little bit more like barbecue sauce. Very similar. Tomatoes, malt vinegar, molasses, glucose syrup, beer vinegar, which is white vinegar, sugar, dates, cornstarch, flour, salt, spices, natural flavor. So again, very similar to the A1. The chefs. This one seems a little different. It's it's um it's even thicker. Really goopy. <laughs> Vinegar, sugar, apples, barley, malt, vinegar, water, tomatoes, modified cornstarch, oranges. I don't really get the orange in there. Salt, spices, color. Hmm. So far, this is the one with the least strong pronounced flavor. Hmm. You know, I don't think I dislike any of these be honest. They're all pretty good. They're all a little different. I think with the A1, you get a little bit more vinegar forward. And with the HP, you get a little bit more sweetness forward. And I think the Chef's overall is just a milder, you know, sort of a milder taste. It's really it. Uh, I don't know if there's a clear winner here because, uh, you know, like I said, they're all different. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always going to have a taste for the A1. It's what I grew up with. I'm American. Uh, but I do like the HP, I have to say. I, this is a little bit mild for my taste, maybe. Not as many uses I could think of for this, but... Uh, certainly the HP. Uh, both probably good on burgers, both probably good as marinades, uh, grill sauces. Maybe we'll see them in a recipe coming up. Guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And either way, tell me what you think down in the comments. If you have not subscribed already, please do. Click the red button down below or the watermark in the corner. When you do, make sure you hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I have a new video out. And we will see you in the next one.